Remove the four screws holding the mounting plate to the body of the instrument, then remove the plate. Use tape to identify the area where the new cavity will be placed. Now using either a wood chisel or a router, create the cavity for the 13 pin jack plate. The cavity is approximately an inch and three eighths in length and seven eighths of an inch wide. Make sure that the cavity is deep enough to accept the 13 pin jack plate assembly and ribbon cable. A keying system has been implemented to ensure correct installation assembly. Here we can see a pin that has been removed. And here the corresponding female hole has been plugged. This prevents the ribbon cable from being plugged in backwards. Connect the ribbon cable to the 13 pin jack plate. Now feed the opposite end of the ribbon cable through the new cavity into the control cavity. Now secure the jack plate into place with the provided screws. Adhere two pieces of double-sided foam tape to the underside of the Hexpander preamp. Secure the hex bander into position within the control cavity. The hex bander is shipped with a small jumper contact crossing between pins VO and VI. When used in conjunction with a MIDI volume, this small jumper must be removed. You can now connect the ribbon cable to the hex bander preamp. In order to accommodate the MIDI volume control, the second tone part will be removed. Remove the tone control knob, unscrew the nut 
and remove the pot. You can now install the MIDI volume control. You should now identify the best position to install the program selector switch. You should first drill a pilot hole, then ream the hole out with a larger quarter inch drill bit. Now install the program selector switch.